Hey. Hello? I'm sorry I flaked out on you. Oh, it's appropriate. I say you're never here and your answer is to walk out the door. Well, you were talking about breaking off our engagement. I, I didn't expect it. I suppose it's a lot to take. But I do feel that you'd rather be married to the factory than me. If you're asking me if I'd choose between you and my job, I'll choose you every day of the week. <laughs> you say these things, but they're just words. You never follow through. You messed me about over lunch today, and you belittle me. Jeff really did a number on you, didn't he? What's Jeff got to do with it? Listen, it just because a man is ratty, it doesn't make him a bully, like Jeff. And I know I was a, a jerk the other day, and I'm sorry, but I would never undermine you like he did. Intentional or not, it still hurts. I know, and I'm sorry. You've got to believe me. Okay. Say we give it more time. What if we find ourselves six months from now and nothing's changed? Then we gave it our best shot. We owe ourselves at least that. Let's go away for a couple of days. Try to get that spark back. And what good would that do? Well, it'd allow me to focus all my energies on you, show you what you mean to me. And then when we get home, back to the day-to-day? -day? Well, I'll get the ball rolling on retirement. It's, it's overdue. I promise, I'll do whatever it takes. Well, it, it would be nice to get away. Exactly. Just you and me. You know, long walks, romantic dinners by a roaring fire. Where? Uh, the peaks. I've heard they're beautiful, and I've never been. Okay. You won't regret it. There we go. It's all booked. It does look beautiful. Yeah, it's gonna look even more beautiful from the top of Kinder Scout. Well, I suppose I'd better go and pack. Mm -hmm. hey, hey, thank you uh, for giving me uh, another chance. I'm gonna grab it with both hands. Don't forget uh, your hiking boots. Those, those hills can be treacherous. 